Hi there, Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Now today is going to be something really different and pretty shocking as I can put it, okay? Now a few days ago, I put up a video of uh, Bachchan's dog, Jia Khan's love letter and the Goan child rape. Now obviously, I put a lot of stuff that people may or may not like. And this is where a girl named Shaima Sultana, okay, Shaima Sultana wrote. And this is what she wrote to me. Uh, nobody fucking cares about your views, either kindly keep it to yourself. Yeah, no one actually cares about Button's dog's death. In fact, no one actually cares even if you fucking die because there's no fucking difference between you and Button's dog. Thank you very much. And just so that you know, uploading your videos will not change the nation and neither it will change the fucking fact that you belong to the same fucking nation and for all the shit that you do, I hope you land up getting HIV, AIDS, and some symbols. All right. Now, obviously, when you piss up in the air, the piss falls down back at you. Or if, uh, as I put it, if you go near a uh, buffalo's ass, that is the, uh, the buffalo's bum or its orifice, and you stand, uh, you know, just, just put your face right up to the buffalo's uh, ass, and then it farts, obviously your face will get dirty. So, now, mind you, you need to understand that I just got the name Shaima Sultana wrote to me. I do not know who she is. I do not know how old she is. I don't know anything about her. So this is what I wrote in my normal courtesy. Okay. Because when someone is nice to me, obviously I have to be nice to them. So Shaima, you forgot to put your, did you forget to put, no, forgot to put your pampers as you're getting your periods or did your husband's father just give you up the asshole? Since neither of us cares about Butchin's dog, my death, your mother's death or your fucking father's death, then why the fuckity fuck are you fucking around my fucking channel? Your fungus infested maggot bearing virus spreading fanny fuck. So that you know you can shove your fuckity fuckity fuck fornicated fuck face advice up your father's and mother's ass. Compress. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Nice, nice. So, <laughs> I obviously, if you reply to me rude, I would reply to you rude, and that is what I did. Okay? But now, the funny thing happened today. This is after two days. Today is the 16th of June. I happen to get a call so I can show you. So you know that I got a call. Let me show you my phone. And uh, <laughs> I got a call from this number. So let me make sure that you can see it. I got a call from uh, the first one says Mohammed Shuja. As you can see, Mohammed Shuja. Okay. The first one. Yeah. The first one. So Mohammed Shuja happened to call me. Can you see? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So Mohammed Shuja happened to call me. He called me up and uh, this is what he wrote to me. Uh, what he what he wrote? Uh, brave, brave guy. Okay. Dude, why are you swearing at Shaima? She's only 17. Happens to be my friend. Give us some respect, dude. And I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, fine. So I, I, I wrote to him exactly. Listen, who, who's Shaima? And I'm actually reading. Okay. So it's, it's not fake. It's, it's a real conversation. So I, I, I kind of told him that I don't disrespect people normally. I really do not disrespect people unless they disrespect me. And I didn't know she's 17 years old. Come on. I mean, there are so many people who write to me. I get almost sometimes 300 emails all abusing me. And how is it that I can know? Are you six years old or 70 years old? So uh, see, uh, you, you need to understand something. Now, if someone is young, I'm not going to steamroll them. Okay. I get a lot of youngsters. I teach and I mentor students who are 11 years old to even 54 years old. Okay. We are all students. And it's not that someone who's young has to call me sir or uncle. No, I tell them, call me by my name. My name is Lloyd. That's about it. I need to earn your respect. You need to earn mine. So that's how it goes. So I did not know that uh, Shaima was 17 years old. Number one. Second thing is, you, Shaima or anybody else for that matter needs to understand that you should not take social media so very seriously. Like on Facebook, someone puts something, you don't go around saying, oh, I'm going to kill you, this, that, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's stupid, man. Just take it easy, relax, chill out, uh, you know, chill pill. And uh, then you get people who, okay, if they insult your religion or they insult your nationality, they get worked up. Let me give you an example in real life. Now, uh, five years ago, come, come, five years ago, okay, okay. <sighs> Five years ago, I used to go clubbing, okay? I used to go to this place, Blues and Cues, with a couple of guys. Their name is Jasim, Samir. Uh, I, you know, I used to just hang around with them. And we used to go to this club and we used to sit right in the front. Now, obviously, look, obviously, we, uh, you'd get guys who are drunk. Now, I used to, I was fully tattooed my arms and 
I used to take my PSP, PlayStation Portable. I even used to drink milk because I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke cigarettes. So I used to sit quietly and people used to think there's something wrong with me. And all the girls used to come and stand next to me because they knew I was not drunk and I was pretty respectful towards them. I would never disrespect a woman, okay? Um, I would never, never. That is something I would never do in real life. And uh, they would come and stand next to me and they would go around telling people this is my boyfriend or this is my husband because they didn't want guys to mess with them. And I look like a tough, rough guy. So, so I'm sitting there doing my stuff and I'd always get somebody or another come up to me totally drunk. Like this one incident where the Sri Lankan guy, piss drunk, piss drunk, skinny as a banana. He comes up to me and says, you are a motherfucker. And he says, I fucked your mother. Now, normal guy would get pissed off and, oh, you said this up. So what did I tell him? I, I, I told him, uh, when he told me I fucked your mother, I said, man, you have really bad taste. Who do want to fuck my mother? She's ugly. But another incident, a guy came and said, your father's a fag. I said, absolutely right. I even get people who tell me, Indians are shit. I said, I totally agree with you. That's why I'm looking for a US passport. So whatever people, I even got an old lady once who came and says, if I had a son like you, I would, uh, you know, kill him. Uh, you look satanic. I said, if I have a mother like you, I'd kill myself. So you should not take things seriously, guys. You should not take things seriously. The, because let's say today you are one, maybe you're stronger than that person. You beat up this person. Tomorrow he gets 20, 30 people with iron rods. Then what are you going to do next? Uh, so you, you need to have common sense. So my, uh, my, my apologies to Mama Chuja and his friend uh, Shaima. Look, I don't mean disrespect to youngsters especially, okay? Uh, but you got to understand the the uh, rules of engagement, so to speak. So if you disrespect someone, they will disrespect you back. If you don't like an opinion, say it in a nice way. <clears throat> there are many people <clears throat> who say things that I don't agree upon. But that does not mean I use profanity uh, straight away or I, I just start smashing them up or getting personal with them. Go on a tangent. Now, if someone disrespects me personally, yes, I would disrespect them. But that's on social media. In real life, however, the principles are different because real life is not social media. So, you know, to Suja, wherever you are, sweetheart, listen, I don't have any bone of contention with you. I would just say live and let live, even though, uh, you know, I, I suppose it's not my fault. I suppose it's not my fault. And because you're 17 years old and I was a little overboardly rude with you and, you know, you got your knight in the shiny armor, Mohamed Suja, who, I don't know, he's your brother, boyfriend or friend, whatever he is. He, he called me up and, uh, you know, we spoke. Um, since he is very particular, I apologize. Okay, I apologize to Shaima. I apologize to Mama Chuja. And um, I just want you guys to know, I don't have anything rude or anything bad or anything that uh, that shows negative emotions. However, however, I would suggest that uh, you can be a little nice. Okay, you can be a little nice. I'll be a little nice. And if you're rude, I have to be rude. So... Next time, if you want to be rude, just put up your age before you, you plan to be rude with me. So if you're young, what I'll do is I'll just tell you, go back to your mommy and uh, your daddy. And I would not say anything that would be awfully rude. However, if you are an adult and then you're rude to me, well, I might get back to you. But having said that, I hope it's clear now. I don't have any bone of contention with you. I am a live and let live guy. I'll speak whatever the shit I want. I'll be free on social media. So if you guys want to be rude with me, go ahead, bash me up. Let me know your age. So if you're underage, I don't bash you up back. However, if you are not underage and you are my age, then let's have a good time, uh, you know, smearing each other with absolute all the bad words possible because it's going to be fun. And I enjoy it end of the day. So guys, this is Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com telling you very simple, live and let live. If you try to piss up in the air, it's going to come back at you. So if you're planning a shit smearing campaign, Get ready for shit smearing back. Otherwise, I think uh, let's have a good time. So, Mohan Shuja, thank you very much for the phone call. I respect you, man, because you have the balls and the guts to speak to me face to face. And that takes a lot of courage. To Shuja, well, it's an education by itself. You're learning. I'm learning. We all are learning. And at your age, at least you have the courage to stand up for what you believe. And I respect you for that. However, just cut down on the bad words because I don't think it suits you very well. Anyway, this is me saying bye for now. Let me know your views and your comments. Cheerio.